Hello and welcome back. This is Associate Editor of Tachai, Bruce Henderson, with another Tachai News Update. As we mentioned in our prior update, there were uh, cases of COVID-19 that had been detected at a stable. And with just a few days to go before the Akibasho, there was quite a bit of speculation on what might happen next. The Sumo Kyokai had not announced the results or the name of the Heia, but we have that now. So at the top of the blog, as we can see, um, they've released a lot more information, and it boils down to something like this. Some bad news, some good. The, the Heia in question is uh, Tamanoi, and uh, the entire Heia is now Kyujo for Aki. That means that none of the Rikshi will participate. Although, interestingly, the, uh, the uh, Gyoji and the Yobidashi will be uh, present because they do not live in the stable. But, uh, but for Tamanoi, it looks like there are somewhere between, well, looks like there are 28 Rikshi total, plus an Oyakata and an Okami-san. Uh, the, o- the Oyakata is the former Ozeki uh, Tochiazuma. So everyone is quarantined. The entire stable is Kyujo. None of them will appear. Um, so this uh, this includes a couple of Kanban Rikshi, two two guys who used to be in uh, in the top division. One of which is Azimaru, um, who's down in Jurio, and uh, the other one is Fujiazuma, who is also in Juro, Jurio. With uh, their zero and fifteen result now coming from Aki, we could see both of these guys demoted out of secretary position back down into Makushta. Um, but the damage goes on. I mean, they have lower rank wrestlers, but Shirashi was ranked uh, in Makushta too. So he was well within the Joyjin. He was within Pomerotable range. So a winning record stood him in good chance of, of finally um, becoming a Sekitori. Uh, all that's off the table now, and all of these athletes are going to have to fight their way back up, back up the Banzuke now. So... Um, out of the 28 or so Rikishi plus the Okami-san and the uh, um, Oyakata, 19 people have tested positive. Of that, 12, and they haven't listed whom, but 12 of them have been hospitalized. All of them are listed to have mild symptoms. Um, so probably things that uh, are like cold, like cough, like fever. So far, none of them are in life-threatening condition. So we hope that the, the facilities, the hospitals in Japan, the clinics, can pull these these guys through. But of course, with sumo wrestlers, there's always this worry because many of them have gained so much weight that they've got metabolic syndrome, they've got diabetes, they've got these comorbidities that you've heard refer to when they discuss the clinical aspects of COVID-19 that put people at risk. And so, uh, you know, our thoughts, of course, go back to, to May when uh, Shobushi died of multiple organ failure. Shobushi was part of the, the sumo comedy uh, team that, uh, that put on demonstrations back when there was Jungo, but of course that's all been canceled now due to, due, to, due to COVID-19. So we've got 12 that have been hospitalized, another six or so that are asymptomatic and are, are isolating themselves inside the Heia. Um, one worry was that the sumo association was going to postpone or, or cancel the Aki Basho, but we know that they're firmly committed to moving the tournament forward and things will start Sunday morning in Japan as scheduled. Um, in reflection, it looks like the ban on joint training that did Gecko was probably a wise move. If, uh, if these Rikshi had gone to other stables, even in their own Ichiman or even across Ichiman, we would be looking at a mass uh, infection outbreak. Uh, and it really underscores that, um, that this virus is, is, is quite virile. It, it likes to, to jump to new hosts, especially if you're in an environment where you're breathing hard, where you're sweating, where you're slamming your body into another person and pushing them around. It's a, it's a perfect transmission mechanism. Furthermore, you've got a number of people who have possibly some comorbidities, living in very close proximity, sharing sleeping quarters, sharing training quarters, sharing the same toilet, the same bath. Um, it's it's tailor-made for, for mass spread, for mass infection. Uh, and our heart goes out to, 
Tamanoi Heya and everyone associated with it. We hope they the Rikshi all get get healthy soon and none of them face uh, uh, severe complications. But but that's what we know now about the COVID-19 outbreak in, in Aheya. And we're, um, we're concerned, of course, for the athletes, but we're happy that the tournament's going to go on. So that's our news update for now. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And remember, for Sumo, it's Tachi Ai. Oh.